This is a simple sawtooth cutting jig I made a few years ago from a few bits and pieces I had lying around at the time. It looks a bit rough, but it works quite well. If I was to make another one, I would make it a lot more elegant and also a lot more accurate. Essentially, it's made out of five pieces. A handy piece of angle bracket that I had lying around that has some conveniently placed holes. Three countersunk screws. 30 millimetres long and a piece of soft pine which is 19 by 42 millimetres in size. I won't be making another one of these today but I will pull this one apart and explain to you my process of constructing it. Okay first I'll just pull these two screws out that are holding the face plate, or the base plate, but whichever you want to call it. Okay. Two screws out. Okay. So that's the base plate. And we have these two convenient holes that I mentioned earlier have been countersunk. So they will now take the screw heads. Now I'll explain about this in a minute. In the body we've got the um, pitch setting screw I suppose you would call it. So that's, you can see that there and also you've got a bit of a curve there. So if you take that screw out you can see it obviously screws out, so it can screw in and screw out. So that's how the pitch gets adjusted. I'll explain that when I put it back together again. So what we have here is, if you look closely, if I can get focus on this, there we go, you can see the edge of the the edge of the screw has been filed down to a relatively sharp edge. So if you compare it to the original an original screw, it's a it's quite a fairly rounded edge. So what happens is when you're sawing the when you're sawing the uh, the saw plate, as you're going as you're going along, every time you cut a slot, this edge Will, will slot into the previous slot and then position the face plate basically as a guide for, for the saw for the next tooth. I'll demonstrate that when I put it all back together and I'll show you. The way I did this originally was to get the body and make centre lines right the way around it so you have an idea where centre is. Then. With the, with the uh, face plate as a, as a template, pre-drill the, uh, the end of the body because it's an end grain and so it's, it's going to split if you, have, you, know, if you don't uh, pre-drill. And yeah, so pre-drill it so as it will sit basically central. Then once that was done, just to confirm Oops, had a shot. Just to confirm that everything would line up central, yeah. right? Just lining up central. <laughs> okay, so that yeah, li lined up central. You've got your center line there. You can see the vaguely the centre line through there, I hope. So that worked out okay, central. So, but then what you have here is the counter sinks sitting proud of the of the uh, face plate. So what's necessary to do then is you can see that 
I've countersunk those holes. Okay. So I'll take these out. After the holes are countersunk, well, this is probably all obvious to everybody out there, but however, so even still, after they the holes have been countersunk. That's still going to be sitting proud of the faceplate. So what's necessary then? Is you get the file and just file it flat. So like that. You can see on the face where that's been filed, it's, it, the whole thing's been filed flat. There we go, nice and flat. Next up is to drill the hole for the pitch setting screw and to do this I just used a uh, which we call it a ca uh, countersink pilot hole drill that was just in there let's take this apart again getting good at this And so essentially, for the pitch setting screw, I didn't have any particular measurement there when I originally did it. It just I just put it in there so it where it looked where there was still going to be a little bit of meat on the on the end of the, on the side of the wood of the body. So as when you drilled the hole, it would actually drill drill down. So essentially just on the, somewhere on the centre line, just drilled basically down and continue drilling so as there's a bit of a hole, so as the head of the screw can in fact, uh, could in fact go in. You know, so, so go past the you know, base of the, the back of the face plate. Basically that was it. Then once that was all, once that was all put together, it was right. So once the screw was in, just let me be careful because if I keep pulling it out and pulling it in, I'm going to pull out the thread, aren't I? Okay, so once that was in and everything was central and there was no, no issues with that, so everything's basically central, there was a centre line there and because that was, that was central, the screw out then once you know everything is is actually central you get your saw and cut your cut your saw curve so it doesn't have to be exactly 100% straight you'll see when when it's operating but so long as the end this end part really comes through the center of the of the screw head that's all that's really, really necessary. Following that, once you have the the screw in place, or you've got the or the housing for the screw, then 
it's a matter of just cutting out a hole that will open up for the uh, for, so, so you can adjust the um, the the pitch or the pitch setting screw and that's just a drill and a file just enough to so 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 the head can come can come right the way out the only thing I wish I had done was kept this a little bit closer together over the over the kerf because this can actually let the um, let the let the whole body sort of swivel a bit if it was a little bit closer to the size of the actual uh, saw plate it wouldn't move so much but it's not a problem in operation, which I will show you shortly. I'll now just put this back together so I can show you the device in operation. Right, one more time. Screws. Oh, of course, these two screws that have been filed, they need to go back into the same. They need to go back into the same countersink because they're not exactly the same. Just let me make sure. Yep, that one's flush. Yep, nice and flush. Pitch setting screw, just carefully place that in. There we go. Okay. There we go. So, there we have the curve that, that the plate will go down, the plate will go along. And you can see it sort of interferes with the with the uh, pitch setting screw. If I can get that, so you can hear it hear it butting up to it. Okay, now for the pitch setting screw, if you, if you screw it out, well, quite obviously that's now sitting proud of the of the face plate or well, guide plate. I've, I don't know what you would call it. Anyway, the face plate. So obviously now you screw it in, screw it down. Don't know if you can see it properly. Let me change hands. There we go. I think you can see it going down below. Oh, can you? Yeah, you can just sort of see it there. That is now going down b below the face plate. Okay, so that's how you set the actual depth or set the pitch of the of the screw or of the um, saw teeth. Now for a quick demonstration. Uh, so you just move the camera to the file, uh, to the vice. Right, now I'm going to be in front of everything, so I'm going to have to change the camera angle. Okay. Right now I've got this set to quite a low pitch. Anyway, let's give it a go. First you just make your first... Oops. Oh, bugger. That's no good. Not a very good blade. But anyway, so we've made our first tooth. And... You put the setting screw into the into the slot you've just done, quite 
quite firm. And then There we have some relatively nice some relatively nice uh, <laughs> saw cuts. Actually they're not very even, but then that's just me not being in practice. Anyway, if you wanted to adjust say to a so to a, um, a coarser pitch, you just screw that screw in, and that's a lot, and ah, yep, okay, so. saw blade is actually very bad, the hacksaw blade. Okay. So from there, you can see they're a much coarser tooth now. Thanks for watching my first YouTube video. It's been quite fun and I do hope somebody got something out of it. Thank you very much.